everyone, it's Megan and today I'm here to discuss some hideous book covers because let's face it, we all know there are some really, really, really bad covers out there. So today I'm going to do like a little video on these horrible covers because I was like, ugh, and I've noticed that some horrible covers that I found, I was like, why? And I've owned some horrible covers within my life, so I thought let's do a video on it. So without further ado and much more introduction, let's get on with my video. So firstly we're going to start off like with a very well loved series and that is the Darker Shades of Magic trilogy. I think these covers are absolutely disgusting. I can't believe these are a crime. Look, luckily I don't, like these are not like the worst that I've seen, but there should be a sanction for this, because this is just terrible. This is a terrible cover design. Who come up with these? God. Like, the US ones, come on, wait. Why couldn't we have these? Why? Why have I had to have these? They're just an eyesore. Makes me upset that they're so eyesore but you know. So the next book is Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini. This book was an amazing book. Yet, what is this cover? <laughs> what? Like, this is a great example of when you put people on the cover, don't do it like this. My God, I saw this cover and I was like, really? This is like the cover that you're going with? Like, why? Like, I like, I like the white, I like the flames, but I just don't understand what this has to do with the story. Like, why? Uh, the only thing I actually do that is if you can see closely in the hair she's got like sparkles like fire and I did like that and I was like yeah okay cool I can live with that but then and then they did the thing that's just like a pet peeve of mine they changed the covers and but they changed the covers to these beautiful asses I love these look at these they're beautiful look at this compared to that they're beautiful okay and I was like so why am I not getting this in a beautiful cover why am I going to get why what is this I need this, this lovely cover right here. And they only done it for like the first last two books. So I, had to, I was like, ready? <laughs> ready? What is this? <laughs> ah, disgusting. <laughs> two will come as quite a shock because these were brought up in a previous book talk. And this is st A Study in Charlotte and The Last of August. I really dislike these covers. I like the writing, I don't dis the writing. The writing is perfect, but this colour system, what is this? It's like someone puked on these books. It's like I literally just like, oh, wait, mm, you know what? Let's have orange and then let's have reds and blues and let's just, you know, let's put a rainbow on these books. And I was like, what? And then apparently the next one is purple and yellow. And I'm like, Ooh, yellow? Oh my god, that's just, it's just so cringe. I like, I, could, I like the picture idea, I like the cartoony idea, but I just don't like the colour system. <laughs> okay, I don't like it. It's horrible. It's like someone puked up on these books. Yeah. Not my favourite. <laughs> Next book. But it's not even actually a book, it's a series, because I think the whole cover, except for the last book, are just absolutely terrible. They're terrible, okay? They're not nice. So, first of all, we're going to start with the UK edition of... The Lost Hero. I was like, what is this? What is it? It's not, it's not a nice cover. I don't like it. It's like... Why? Why? Look at... I don't even have to... Like, I don't even think I need an explanation for why I just really think this cover is hideous. I just... The only thing I technically like is the colours. Apart from that, the rest of it, I would... I could live without. I could live without these books. Cover like this. Ew. No. 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 One is the Sun of Neptune. I, again, cannot stand this cover. It's a horrible cover. It's horrible. Look at it. Like, I get, yeah, Percy on the front. Yeah, I get Medusa creatures on the top. Yeah, I totally understand this, but why? <laughs> why? <laughs> I saw, like, the, I, I, and I have this, like, really bad pet peeve that Rick Riordan does really, really gorgeous covers in the US edition, and then we get these covers, and we're like, what? Because I live in the UK, so I get UK editions and they suck. <laughs> Why? Why is this? This ain't gonna sell over here, people. The beautiful of her covers. Now that would sell. Not this. Ugh, no. No. It's horrible. Horrible. 
And then just to quicken it up, I'm just going to do the last two of the Heroes of Olympus series. Like, actually, I'll tell you what, I don't actually mind this one as much, but I still think it's not, like, pleasing to the eyes. But look at this one. Look at that. Why? Why? I was like gorgeous to look at. I was like, that looks aesthetically pleasing on my shelves. Not this. This is not a pleasing sight, okay? This. That does look horrible. Okay? They look like... They were meant to be made for a different era. And I was like, why? I don't want this. I want to make it pretty. God. And finally, the next book that I think has like the most hideous cover. I, can, I can't think of it why. I really just like this cover. And that is Of Call of Thorns and Roses. I just don't like the covers. I don't like them. I think they could have done something a lot better with these covers. I just think they just were like shoved together and I just don't like it at all. I get it's rare. I get that. I get that at all. I like, the only thing I do like is the writing and how you've got the forms going across it. But apart from that, I don't like the picture. I don't like the image. I don't really like people on my books covers. I just don't like them. I don't need it. I don't need it on my cover. Okay. All I want is a pretty cover that looks so nice on my shelf and maybe a really good story to go along with that. Not this. Horrible thing. Oh, on the spine. I have to, I just have to keep that because it's got nice symmetry. I love that. But yeah, that this needs to change. This needs to change because that's horrible. God. This is the end of my hideous book ranty sort of video where I go through my shelves and find books that I find with covers that are just hideous like there are some others that i really don't like like if you've ever heard of white hot kiss by jennifer l armentrout then you totally understand what i'm saying because that cover's hideous that that's terrible and like i think they're the new vampire academy ever show me them covers are horrible too there are plenty of them out there i could do a whole like three hour video on mainly horrible covers because there were so many horrible ones. But yes, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, do leave me a thumbs up. They make my day. And yeah, I love a good thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to be part of my online bookish family, do so with the lovely subscribe button. You'll find it down below. It's big, nice and red. Click it and get told when I update. Because I wouldn't, would love to know that. I update every Mondays and Fridays consistently. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.